Hey folks, Kerry here. I thought I'd go ahead and answer a question that I'm getting a lot out of the telescope and that's about the supposed planet alignment that's supposed to happen in 2012, uh, December 21st. So, um, totally not going to happen and here's a big reason right here. Uh, here's the Sun, the Earth, Jupiter over here and Saturn over here. So. Jupiter and Saturn are on opposite sides of the Sun right now and Jupiter takes 11.9 years to go around the Sun Saturn takes 29.5 years to go around the Sun so it's gonna take a really long time just for those two planets to align and then for the coincidence of when those two do align that the other ones are aligned as well that's going to take a really long time. So I move this forward in time. So this is for today's date. This is uh, August 6, 2011. And I'll put it in motion. And here we are, September, October, December, January, February, March. This is 2012 now. S August, September. October, November, December 18th, December 19, December 21st, 2012. This is where the planets will be. Earth is over here, there's the Sun, Jupiter over here, and Saturn still on the opposite side of the Sun from Jupiter. Mars is over here, about 90 degrees out from the big two. Venus and Mercury are in here on the other side of the Sun from Earth. So, totally not lined up. For an alignment you would expect with Earth being here, the Sun here, you'd expect Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, like that. So, totally not the case. And even if it was, it wouldn't do anything for Earth. Having the planets aligned doesn't do anything uh, the gravitational force is very small. I mean, when you think about something affecting the Earth gravitationally, um, you know, you think about what causes the tides. You know, it's the gravitational pull of the moon. So the moon actually has more effect gravitationally on Earth than anything in our solar system does. The sun would be second. Um, so if you were to assign a, a value of 100% to the amount of effect that the moon has on Earth gravitationally, so the moon has an effect of 100%, then the sun would have 45.25%. So the sun has a little less than half the effect that the moon does. The reason being, the sun is 400 times further away than the moon is. 93 million miles to the sun, only 238,000 miles to the moon. So yeah, gravity really decreases over distance thanks to the inverse square law. So the sun is huge and it has half the, half the effect that the moon does. So if you aligned all of the other planets up, it, it really doesn't make a difference. So the moon has a hundred percent effect. The sun adds 45.25 percent. If you combined all of the other planets together, it adds 0 0.006 percent. Nothing. So even if the sun and all the planets were aligned, it, having the planets aligned doesn't add anything. You know, when you have a, the moon affecting the tides, you have a 100% effect. Uh, during a new moon, when the moon is on the same side as the sun, together the sun and the moon would have 145%. That's why you get really high tides during a new moon, because the moon is on the same side as the sun, and so they're adding their gravitational forces together. But if you add in all the other planets aligned, it only adds 0.006%. So the planets aligning 
even if all of them aligned, isn't going to do anything. So nothing to worry about.